hello and welcome back to another food shopping haul so i've been to tesco today and got quite a lot because since we've been back from our summer holiday adventures i haven't done a proper shop i've just been using up what we've had in the fridge and freezer and we've just had a few bits and pieces so it was quite a big shop i also went to sainsbury's a couple of days ago so i'm going to pop in those few bits that i got from sainsbury's as well and there may be a little bit of a montage of <laughs> tesco Oscar did kindly do some filming, he's my youngest and he took the camera and did a little bit of b-roll around the shop so I'm not sure what that's come out like but if it's any good then I will pop that in as well. <laughs> everything I've bought I got some really good bargains on plants and candles over there and then at the end I will take you through next week's meal plan and let you know how much I spent so I've got some red potatoes I want to make some mash and some roast and these are really good for that some sweet peppers some cucumbers so candy floss grapes are about this time of year and we absolutely love them if you haven't tried them they really do taste like candy floss so this was three pound for this cardboard box of them I've got some onions, I'm going to be doing a roast dinner, so I've got some tender stem broccoli and some carrots, two lots of gala apples, we've got some more grapes because our fridge is pretty bare at the moment, a melon which was, I think it was 65p on the club card deal, I also got some sweet gem lettuce and what else did I get, oh for a stir fry that I'm making I got some bok choy and some monge too. So I got two lots of chicken breast, one for a curry and one for the chicken stir fry. I'm gonna be doing some sausage and mash. I fancy like proper good old fashioned, I don't know, dishes if you know what I mean. So I want a roast dinner, I want sausage and mash. I feel like having a curry. I think we've just been eating lots and lots of weird stuff over the last few weeks and I'm ready to get some like nice vegetables and stuff inside us and some traditional foods. So. I bought some sausages, I got 10 Cumberland ones, these are Tesco finest and they were £3.50 and then I got 6 of the just plain ones, um, these were £2 instead of £2.50 I got a large joint of boneless pork shoulder, this is going to be cooked in the slow cooker and we'll have it with our roast dinner and then on the following day I'm going to use the leftovers to make some burritos so I'm going to put some salsa, some cheese, some rice some chilli like seasoning to the pork and then we'll have pork burritos and I'll probably do that with some kind of salad or rice dish. I'll probably won't do rice because there'll be rice in them. Probably do that with a salad. But some of these Aunt Bessie giant Yorkshire puddings, what I'm going to do is serve the sausage mash and peas and onion gravy in these. I got two lots because I'm not that fussed so... I've got one for each of the boys and one for Steve and then I'll just have sausage mash and peas with mine. But I thought that might be quite nice to serve it in a Yorkshire for a change. I've got some straight cut chips, just the 90p Hearty Food Co. These are really good value and um, we like them. I do them in the air fryer with some like chip seasoning on. I've got some pork gravy granules. I'll just probably put a little bit of this over the pork in the slow cooker just to give it a little bit of flavour. Three sticky rib pot noodles, which were 50p each. I got some Vimto no added sugar. This was two litres for two pound. Some semi-skimmed milk. I got two lots of garden peas in tins, because I'm pretty sure I've got some in the freezer, but I really couldn't remember. I've also got 
peeled plum tomatoes, some chickpeas and some kidney beans. So I'm going to be doing a no meat dish um, of a mixed bean chilli. I feel like we all just need some beans and fibre and like I said fruit and veg. I've got some rainbow cones. I think these were £1.50 for four. They just look cool. And some of these tropical like Solero style ice creams. They're not in there by the way. When I do food hauls, I always go and empty these into the freezer first. Otherwise I would be panicking that they're gonna melt. So we have started buying this butter pack spreadable from Tesco. It's like the Lure pack, but it's obviously Tesco's own version. It's quite a bit cheaper. This is £2.20. And we like it better than Clover. So we haven't tried the light one yet or the reduced fat. So I thought we'd give that a go. I've got my favourite um, soy alternative to plain yoghurt that I put on like chilies and things. Some extra mature, extra mature Pilgrim's Choice. I always mess up what I'm saying at least once every video. Um, yeah, some extra mature Pilgrim's Choice cheddar. And this was £3, I believe. £2.30 down from £3 seems to ring a bell. So I've got some whole earth crunchy dark roasted peanut butter. If you're a peanut butter fan, I highly recommend this whole earth dark roasted. It is darker than normal peanut butter and it's really, really nice. This was £2.50 instead of £3. I got some salsa to go in the like burritos that I'm making. I got some straight to wok udon noodles. These are obviously for a stir fry. I'm going to put the chicken and the monge too, the pop choy, onions, peppers, and that's gonna be a really nice kind of spicy chicken stir fry. So I got the idea for this from someone I follow on Instagram called Claire, and her Instagram is Skeets Eats. If you don't follow her, then go and check her out because it, she makes some amazing food and she takes lovely pictures of it. Um, so go and check her out because she's got a really good Instagram and I love looking at her pictures. I've got some chicken ham and some honey roast ham. These were both £2 today instead of £3, I think. Two lots of orange juice and some pan of chocolat. I got some cheese strings. Two lots of tortilla wraps. I got these for the burritos. I wish we did giant ones. I don't know if we do in the UK at all, but these are like normal size. I would like to do like the slightly bigger ones because I think by the time you put rice and salsa and pork and then try and fold it over, they end up sort of not a lot of filling in them. But I got two lots of those anyway. Some sourdough crumpets because I'm a big fan of those at the moment. I got some Kingsmill 50 50 bread and some free range eggs. Um, like I said, Oscar came shopping with me, so he got some Tesco Finest cookies. They were doing two packs for £2. So we got some Belgian white chocolate and honeycomb and some triple chocolate shortbread. They just look very, very nice. Got some of these Ridge Crisps. These were sort of going to go ready salted and cheese and onion. I think these are about 80p, something like that. And then we got some of the Walker's Max Strong. These are hot chicken wing, jalapeno and cheese and peri-peri flavour. Then coffee wise, I don't normally buy things like this, but the older two boys are obsessed with iced coffees at the moment. And when you buy them in the actual like fridge section, they're like at least a pound, a pound 50 each. You get seven in here and you just make it up with water and ice. And it was one pound 50, I think for seven. So I bought them one of those each. Um, it says simply add cold water. Uh, yeah. If desired, add some ice cubes. But I thought that sounded nice. Salted caramel, mix it up, and they can just come and have one of those when they want. And it seemed a lot better value than buying the little drinks. And then to put in our van, because obviously we're not running a fridge in there all the time at the moment, we will be eventually having a fridge put in or putting a fridge in the van that runs off of the gas. Um, so it will stay cold all the time. But at the moment we don't have that. So every time we want a tea or coffee in the van we end up having to take milk with us so i got some of these cinnamon bun lattes and we can just add hot water because we've got gas we've got a kettle so we really like to pull up somewhere like by the beach and sit and have a coffee so i thought cinnamon bun sounds really really nice so i got some of those needed some coffee and i got suckered into the special offer this was three pound and it is the new Costa Coffee Intense Dark Roast. I do like Costa Coffee, so I thought I'd see what their instant is like because I just like trying new things. I really, really fancied some cornflakes the other day and we didn't have any. And I almost bought Kellogg's 
um, just their normal ones and they were like two pound I don't can't even remember what they were um, basically these were a pound and I thought actually I quite fancy honey nut ones and the Kellogg's version of these were about three pounds so long story short I bought the Tesco version for a pound really fancied like cereal cornflakes with ice cold milk but I don't know if there is any difference between Kellogg's and normal like cornflakes I don't know comment down below and let me know are you a Kellogg snob like a brand snob do you think there is a big difference or do you think they're all made in the same factory I'm not sure to be honest I'm not convinced that there's a lot of difference but I don't know a lot of people won't eat anything other than Kellogg's that's a long story about cornflakes wasn't it um I've got a family pack of bold this is the lavender and chamomile this was five pound and then my bargain bits so I've got two of these atrium blue cypress candles these are wax lyrical and they come in this lovely tin. As soon as you take the lid off, they smell amazing. And then, I knew I should have done that before I started filming. When you take them out of the tin, they're in the lovely little drawstring bag. Get the words out. And then, they're in this really, really nice floral glass with like the gold rim. It smells amazing. I'm not sure what the burn time is. What are we? up to 50 hours i think they'd make a lovely gift these were 10 pound each reduced to 2 pound 50 so i've got two of those and i just think they're so they're very pretty but the smell is really really strong and it's really nice so yeah two of those they'd make a really nice gift they just look so nice i might even put one of those in the van maybe maybe not not sure um and then I wanted some new fake plants because we have got quite a lot of plants around and obviously the fake ones don't die. So first off I saw this little guy and I thought he might look nice in the van because our van's colours are like a grey inside um, and obviously it's not going to get a lot of light. This was £1.25 and it's got like a little dimple in the side of the pot each side. So that's really really nice. So that was £1.25. Then I went round the corner and they had this one, this like trailing, um, is it called Bead of Pearls or something? This one was only £3 in this lovely like black and white pot with the little brush strokes on it. So I got that one for £3. And then I saw this one, which is like a, is it a fern? I think it's supposed to be a fern, isn't it? And my fern in the bathroom, yeah, it is a fern. Oh, so what's this? That's a succulent. This is a, yeah, trailing pearls. Um, yeah, so this is a fern. My fern in the bathroom is okay, but I'm not sure if it's too happy where it is. So this again, with the stones and everything, the nice pot, ceramic pot, was £3. So I think that's really, really good. And it is tied up, so once it's untied, it's going to sort of flop out. That's what that means, flop out. Um, so yeah, I got that one for £3 as well. And then last but not least, I got another succulent looking one. I just love the pot. It looks like a little guy to me, like two little eyes and a little nose. I don't know if it's meant to look like a little man. Maybe it is. Does it say it's supposed to look like a little man? Mr. Succulent. So I assume this one doesn't say it doesn't say anything. Yeah, Mr. Succulent. So it is supposed to look like a little guy. <laughs> I just think so cute for three pound. I mean, I think this one was originally ten. I think they were all ten or eight, something like that. But I thought they were really, really good bargains. And if anything else the pots were worth it i mean three pound for that pot's really really good so i just got the regular fit short sleeve shirts they wear short sleeve all year round they don't like long sleeve um i got them in age 12 to 13 and they were five pounds so i got three lots of those so he's got one for each day and a spare because you always need a spare don't you so that is everything i got in tesco what i will do now is pop in what i got in sainsbury's and then i will take through my meal plan oh and i spent just over budget so about 127 pound but considering i got plants candles and school shirts i'm quite pleased with that so here's just a few bits that i got in sainsbury's they were all yellow sticker or the majority of them were so i got some chicken fajita mini fillets and these were one pound 79 instead of 255 so i've got two of those three lots of these deli kitchen greek style flatbreads these were on offer at a pound i think they're normally 125 and then they were 69p I got some southern fried chicken goujons which were £1.44 
I also got two lots of these beefsteak and chorizo burgers and they've got smoky paprika in. I thought they sounded nice. And again, they were on offer at 250. And then reduced further still to 179. Two bags of seasoned rustic fries. These are £1.25 in Sainsbury's and they're really, really nice. I got a cheese like sandwich filling and some coleslaw. I thought we could have flatbreads with maybe coleslaw salad and some of the chicken in. And with that in mind, I got some chicken breast grills. These are Cajun chicken breast. They were £3.44 instead of £5. So I got two packs of those as well. So that's tonight's dinner sorted and obviously spare bits to pop in the freezer anything i don't use i'll just freeze and then my mum went to dunnell mill today on the bus she messaged me and said they've got these mirrors did i want one they're 30 pound down to 15 down to 7 pound 50 and it's like this is like a black sort of it's hard to explain it's almost like a matte black wood but then the mirror itself is like beveled. So if anyone is looking for any mirrors or anything, she said they also had them in silver and they had like full length mirrors as well for five pound. And it's really, really heavy and good quality. So I got that as well, but I didn't pay for that. My mum bought it for me and carried it all the way home on the bus, bless her. So those are the few bits I got in Sainsbury's. So here is next week's meal plan and we're starting from today which is Thursday. So tonight I'm going to make the sausage and mashed potato in a giant Yorkshire pudding and I'm going to serve that with peas and some onion gravy. Tomorrow is Friday so I'm going to do an easy freezer dinner. I've got some burgers, uh, pizzas, I've got some chicken dippers, that kind of thing in the freezer. So something simple like that. Saturday I'm going to do a homemade chicken tikka masala which is this one. Um, I've had this book absolutely years. This is from Marks and Spencer and I got this when we moved into our first home together which was, what, 17 years ago or something? Um, and you can tell by the page that this is a well-used recipe. Really, really simple. i focus on it there. You can see it, but it's very, very easy to do. I do change it up a little bit because I'm not going to use double cream. I'm actually going to use some coconut milk. Um, to put in mine and I had a few other bits and pieces but yeah it's really really nice so I'm going to make that on a Friday no Saturday I'm going to make that on Sunday I'm going to do a roast dinner with slow cooked pork so not technically roast but everything else will be roasted like the potatoes I'll roast the carrots I'll make cauliflower cheese in the oven the pork I'll do in the slow cooker and we'll also have broccoli and apple sauce as well on Monday, I'll use the leftover pulled pork to make some burritos with some chilli seasoning and some salsa, cheese and rice. And then on Tuesday, I'm going to be making a teriyaki chicken style stir fry. I've got some teriyaki sauce, but I'll probably add some chilies and bits in it as well. And then on Wednesday, we're going to be having a mixed bean chilli and that's really, really filling on its own. So. I don't know if we'll have anything with it. If we've got some wraps left, I might give the boys a wrap each to go with it. Um, but it's actually quite a nice meal, just one bowl of that in itself. So that is our meal plan for next week. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you're not already. And I'll be back really, really soon with another one. Take care, guys. Mm -hmm.